Hello students, welcome to my channel. This is Shantanu from Archi Crafty. Today I will discuss some of the sculptures and monuments of Mauryan, Kushan and Gupta dynasty. So let's start. Hindu, Buddhist and Jain art in India. It ranges from 3rd century BC to 8th century AD. This table shows the chronological order of Indian art. The term Hindu, Jain or Buddhist art are general classifications to distinguish the art of one group of monuments, paintings, cave temples and architecture etc. from the art of another religious theme. In 6th century BC with the rise of Buddhism and Jainism, India witnessed a beginning of new religious and social movements in the Gangetic Plains. Kushan period The art during Kushan period flourished in two schools of thought, Gandhar and Mathura. Each school developed its own distinct style. Mathura art was indigenous while the art of Gandhar evolved under Greco-Roman influence. Materials used by the two schools were different. The picture at the left side is Gandhar Buddha and at the right it is Mathura Buddha. This chart shows the difference between the Gandhar and Mathura art styles. Buddha head at Takshila. It is a sculpture made up of stone having size 27.5 into 20 into 15 centimeter circa 2nd century AD dynasty Kushan style Indo-Greco-Roman art that is Gandhar style. Place of origin Takshila in Gandhar region, now in Pakistan. Subject matter Head of Buddha in a thoughtful expression. Description Thick curly hair with sharp and linear strokes over the head. Big forehead plane, protruding eyeballs, half closed eyes. Face and cheeks are not rotund, unlike the images found in other parts of the country. Elongated ears and earlobes, surface is smooth and the outlines are quite sharp. Expressive image 
shows a remarkably calm expression gandhar images of this period showcase heaviness this style assimilates influences from parthian bactrian and akamenian traditions with the local style seated buddha katra mound mathura period 3rd century ad medium red spotted sandstone dynasty kushan subject matter buddha seated in padmasana with bodhisattvas on both sides description buddha with two bodhisattvas attendants buddha is seated in padmasana that is cross folded legs right hand is in abhaya mudra raised above the shoulder level and left hand is on the left thigh hair knot is vertically raised sculptures of this period from mathura have light volume and a fleshy body the dress covers only the left shoulder buddha is seated on a lion throne he has a large halo which is decorated with geometric motifs the face is rounded having fleshy cheeks the attendants are identified as bodhisattva padma pani and bajra pani two flying figures diagonally above the halo Mauryan period 6th century BC marks the beginning of new religious and social movement in the Gangetic Valley in the form of Buddhism and Jainism Magadha emerged as a powerful kingdom and consolidated its control over the other religions by the 3rd century a large part of India was under Maurya control Ashoka emerged as the most powerful king of the Maurya dynasty religious practices had many dimensions during this period worship of yaksha and mother goddesses was prevalent during that time yaksha worship was very popular before and after the advent of buddhism and it was assimilated in buddhism and jainism construction of stupas and viharas became part of the buddhist tradition however in this period apart from stupas and viharas stone pillars rock cut caves and monumental figure sculptures were carved in several places lion capital of sarnath it is a pillar of polished sandstone circa 3rd century bc dynasty mauryan collection sarnath museum uttar pradesh subject matter a sculpture of four lions standing back to back on an abacus it was adopted as the official emblem of india in 1950 description it is one of the finest example of sculpture from mauryan period and was built by ashoka in commemoration of dhamma chakra pravartana or the first sermon of buddha originally it consists of five components the pillar shaft the lotus bell or base a drum on the bell base with four animals proceeding clockwise that is abacus figure of four majestic adorned back to back lions the crowning element dharma chakra or dhamma chakra 
Dharma Chakra, the fifth component said above, a large wheel was also a part of this pillar. However, this wheel is laying in broken condition and is displayed in the site museum of Sarnath. The capital has four Asiatic lions seated back to back and their facial muscularity is very strong. They symbolize power, courage, pride and confidence. The surface of the sculpture is heavily polished which is typical of the Mauryan period. Abacus has the depiction of a chakra in all four directions and a bull, a horse, an elephant and a lion between every chakra. Each chakra has 24 spokes in it. This 24 spoke chakra is adopted to the national flag of India. The circular abacus is supported by an inverted lotus capital. The capital without the shaft, the lotus bell and crowning wheel has been adopted as the national emblem of independent India. The picture at extreme left shows the lion capital on ground at Sarnath probably in 1904-1905. At the middle there is Ashoka Stambha replica Watomang, Thailand 13th century. At the right there is a picture of a horse motif on the capital. This stamp the second stamp of independent India and the first for domestic use. Chauri bearer Didar Ganj. It is a sculpture of polished sandstone circa 3rd century BC dynasty Mauryan height 64 inch Subject matter, a life-size sculpture of Yakshi holding a chauri, that is, fly whisk. Description, it is a tall, well-proportioned, freestanding sculpture in round, made in sandstone with a polished surface. The chauri is held in the right hand, whereas the left hand is broken. The image shows sophistication in the treatment of form and medium. The face is round, fleshy cheeks, while the neck is relatively small in proportion. The eyes, nose and lips are sharp. Folds of muscles are properly rendered. The necklace beads are in full round and hanging the belly. The tightening of garments around the belly rendered with great care. Every fold of the garment on the legs is shown by protruding lines clinging to the legs, which also creates a somewhat transparent effect. Thick bell ornaments adorn the feet, heaviness in the torso is depicted by heavy breasts. The hair is tied in a knot at the back and the back is clear. Fly wish in the right hand is shown with incised lines continued on the back of the image. These are the four pictures of Chauri bearer of the Darganj. Gupta period. The Gupta dynasty is an important dynasty which ruled ancient India between 4th century to 6th century. 
they have left amazing examples of their glorious reign which has been called the golden era of india's history during their rule art sculpture inventions philosophy mathematics and literature has flourished the kingdom was founded by sri gupta chandragupta 1 Samudra Gupta and Chandra Gupta too were famous kings. Their art astonishes the onlooker and the serious art history students to this day. At Ajanta in Maharashtra are caves which have rock architecture along with painted walls and ceilings. A typical Gupta sculpture at chaita halls and biharas for buddhist monks in the form of a monastery the painted murals in the interiors of these caves are now world famous stone figures terracotta reliefs have also been created during the gupta period the gandhara and mathura schools reached greater heights during this period seated buddha of sarnath it is done in 5th century ad medium chunar sandstone dynasty gupta subject matter buddha preaching the first sermon and turning the wheel of law at the deer park in sarnath description buddha is seated in padmasana image represents Dhamma Chakra Pravartana which is evident from the figure in the panel below the throne the panel has a chakra in the center and a deer on each side Buddha's hand are also shown in Dhamma Chakra Pravartana mudra placed below the chest body is slender and slightly elongated the outlines are delicate and rhythmic the robe clings to the body showing its transparency face is round although the cheeks are less rounded as compared to the earlier images from the kushan period lower lip is protruding eyes are half closed usnisha has circular curled hairs The back of the throne is richly decorated with carvings of creepers and flowers. The halo is decorated with different motifs of flowers and creepers. At the left this is the picture of Buddha of Sarnath. At the right there are two enlarged pictures of the throne. The table shows the difference between the seated Buddha of Mathura and the seated Buddha of Sarnath. Jain Tirthankar It is a sculpture of stone circa 5th century AD dynasty Gupta. Subject matter the famous Jain deity seated in Padmasana Description Many Jain sculptures were found near Vidisha which belonged to the early Gupta period This sculpture of Jain Tirthankar is seated on a square pedestal in Vajra Paryankasana Mudra with both the hands are kept one above the other the figure of mahavir swami the 24 tirthankar is made in the typical buddhist and jain style of kushan period the eyes are closed with an intense spiritual gaze the hair is arranged in snail shell curls rising to a lotus usnisha
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if there is any doubt or query, please put a note at the comment box below. See you in the next video. Bye.